Al Horford. And 25. Al Horford. Wow. Number 25. I mean. $35 million to 25. Yeah, I mean, I could be. Unfortunately, we didn't really have a debate or even, I guess, talk about it internally of where we might have ranked them last year before everything happened. Honestly, <laughs> in the last decade, 12 years, et cetera, he's been one of the top centers in the league, whether you have him top 20, top 15. Some people might even try to argue he's top 10. You never know, again, that longevity period, but he does make our list 25. I could say this wasn't unanimous where I didn't have him on my list at all, to be honest. You had him, I believe, at 19th on your list, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, I had him at 16 on my list. Thank yeah, you. 16 on your list. 16. So, so based on points value, he actually snuck in three points ahead of his own, still that 25 spot, despite missing my list completely. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say a lot bad about him. I mean, so good player. A lot of the good things I said about Gasol can be transferred over to Horford. Other than I think really the plus minus last year, where it just wasn't there for him. Where when he was on the court, it didn't necessarily make a lot of difference for Philadelphia. I mean, sure he racked up minutes and he didn't do anything that was tremendously bad, but he didn't help them not the way they wanted to either. And you just really have to hope that he still has it in him to help a team the way that he was even in Boston before he got there. So just for me to justify why I had him at sixteen. Um, I kind of took away the year in Philadelphia. I know that he had, a, he had a really down year. I did factor that in. But I just think that he's over in OKC right now. He's the only player getting paid more than about $20 million. He is the star of that team. He's going to put up probably the best numbers or top two or top three seasons of, of his career. Um, I think he's actually going to end up being higher than 16. I usually have him higher in my list as well. So uh, we clearly have different opinions of where Horford is heading. But either way, he's getting over $30 million to play basketball, so uh, I don't feel bad for him. No, and I mean, I, I wouldn't think it's unrealistic to say if Al Horford starts, especially because Steven Adams is obviously gone from OKC as well. Um, I mean, to say that Horford might not put up another year, of like a 16, 6-6 six and six even, just because he does pass it very well as well. Yeah, it could very well happen, even if it's less points per game, but he still has – a decent amount of rebounds and obviously the assist will be there um yeah and he's not a bad three-point shooter he's not a bad shooter from anywhere on the floor he's going to stretch in the floor again good iq kind of everywhere he's not going to be a bad fit for okc will obviously help him round up the team similar role to probably galnari obviously just a bit slower bit past his career but yeah in terms of letting him stretch the floor so similar there like you said he'll probably put up a stat line based on that team itself and hopefully he justifies a spot in this top 25.